Hare Krishna. So now you can buy the Krishna Dairy recipe book by going on the website and choosing the option you desire of either buying in India, which directs you to the Indian Amazon link, and outside India, which redirects you to the other website, where the book is available in various formats, which you can choose as per your preference. Hare Krishna. Welcome to the Krishna Dean way of cooking. So today I'm going to share with you a very nice ekadashi recipe of potato chips. This is a very easy recipe for making the perfect crispy potato chips at home and also ekadashi friendly. All you have to do is follow the tips properly. Let's proceed towards the recipe. So first I have washed three big reset potatoes. So any kind of potatoes you can eat, but here uh, the reset potatoes are really good for making chips. So I'm going to use them. So I'm going to peel them, and then here in this bowl I have nice chilled cold water. So I'm going to peel the potato nicely, and then put the potato in there. So like that, I have taken around three potatoes. Now I'm going to let these potatoes be in the water for five minutes. Now on this plate, I'm going to place absorbent paper. This will remove any excessive moisture which is there on the sliced potatoes, which we'll be placing on this paper. So now I will remove the potato, one potato at a time. Here I have a good cotton cloth, so I'm going to wipe it nicely. Just wipe it down nicely. There should not be any water. And I'm going to slice this on a mandolin. I will be discarding this entire water. So now, if you see, I have this mandolin. Just keep it at the lowest setting. It means the thinnest plate. Do not keep it too thick because you want the potato chips to be crispy. So I'm just going to use the gentle hand and just slice it like this. This thin is the potato slice we need. Now if you do not have a mandolin, you can even use this kind of peeler. But uh, this is going to take a lot of time. So having a mandolin really helps. Now I'm going to slice this. So if you are going to use a big plate like what i have used then you can slice two potatoes at a time but if you do not have such a big plate then you can just keep the whole potatoes in the water and slice one at a time so try to place the slices with keeping distance like this do not try to clutter them together Once they are placed like this, then use another absorbent paper or you can even use a big cotton cloth and then pat it on top of these potatoes. You can already see some of the moisture is getting absorbed on the paper. Now here goes another absorbent paper and then I'm going to just Press on the slices like this. This is going to make it nice and dry. Make sure there is no moisture there. And then keep this aside. Now by this time I have used a iron wok. You can even use your regular wok you have and then just add oil to it. Now I have used sunflower oil here. Now you have to heat the oil first nicely like on high and then reduce the heat to low up once you start putting the potatoes. Now here I am just checking if the oil is hot enough so I do not see the oil to be that hot. So I am going to still wait for 5 minutes and let the oil get heated a little bit more. So now the oil is nice and hot. I will start putting the slices and then I'll reduce the heat to medium. The reason why you do that is because the excess 
high heat can actually uh, burn the potatoes and it can go darker it will become crispy but it will also get burnt so you want to make sure that it's not too hot now here i have made a salt water mixture i will just pour a little bit of that on the potatoes and that was after the potatoes were 40 percent done so this will help the potatoes to also cook faster and little bit of that salt which will be evenly spread on all the potato chips you can even give more extra seasoning on top of the fried completely fried potato slices but this will help to at least have the potato chips be a little bit flavorful so if you see i'm cooking them on medium heat and then i will be also turning them around because the base layer can get brown so you just have to turn them a little bit around just continuously keep on doing it so once the color changes a little bit and you see that the potato chips have turned crispy like this then that's the time to remove them like this i will be removing all the potato chips and now i want to show you i sliced some potato like this longer slices so those also turned out good the process was followed in the similar manner just the slices are a little longer so i just sliced the potatoes horizontally the same way i drizzled a little bit of the salt water when you are adding the salt water make sure to be a little bit far away from the oil because the oil and water mixture just uh, splashes everywhere so you want to make sure you don't get burnt so here let me just give you the sound of the potato chips and show you how crispy it turned out this is how nice and crispy this is a completely perfect potato chips what you can do is to keep it crispy and fresh store it in an airtight container and i did not do any kind of uh, seasoning to it if you want you can make a mixture of citric acid and which is limuka full and along with that little bit of dry red chili powder and then just sprinkle on top of it which will add extra flavor this you have to do as soon as you remove the chips from the oil when they are hot but this today i have just made simple potato chips salted one so i hope you liked watching this video do try out this recipe i am going to place a tulsi leaf and offer these chips at the lotus feet of shri krishna this makes our offering complete thank you very much hari krishna